Welcome back. That's right, you're looking at the SN9 next to the SN10. Two starships up at once. This is a big thing coming from SpaceX. Elon Musk himself tweeted this out, so you know this is official. This guy barely tweets anything about this stuff. So you know if he does, something big's going on. Today we're going to look at what's going on in the Texas area. Why there are two starships out at once. The information is kind of limited, though I will be honest with you before we get too far into this. We'll also talk about what SpaceX has planned for this coming Monday. Not just the Starship launch, but their Starlink launch as well. So if you want to know more about that, stick to the whole episode. But let's get into what's going on in Texas right now. So again, as I said, Elon Musk has tweeted this. There are two starships out at once. Now this was yesterday, Friday at 3.44 p.m., January 29th. Now if we look... In the local area, this is only 7.22 p.m. yesterday, which isn't, I mean, still only, what, not even 20 hours ago. They're both set up on an actual launch pad. First photo was the SN10 being transported out of the hangar, or out of the bay, I should say. And now they're both on a actual launch setup. Now, obviously, the SN9 has been on a launch setup. It had static fires, things like that. But now we have the 10. And so there are multiple reasons why people are talking about the SN10 coming out. One was that it was finished and there needed to be room for the SN11 to complete its building. That makes perfect sense and I can definitely see them doing that. Some people are speculating that because of the hassle they've going through with the FAA to get the launch clearances that they're going to do two launches at once so that way they don't have to go through another process of getting another one. I don't I don't think that's true. This is more or less personal opinion. I don't think they're going to launch two at once yet. They still have to successfully launch and land the SN9. They've yet to do that, but they need to first understand, you know, if they can even do it. I don't think they're going to risk two at the same time without successfully landing just one. But hey, that's my personal opinion. It's not facts. If you guys disagree with that or if you agree with it, either way, let me know in the comments what you think about that, why they would be having two out at once. But you know SpaceX, they don't tell you anything until after they do it. So we're going to find out as we go. Also, my whole page is pretty much just SN9 with SN10. Also, with that being said, we found out a little bit as to what's going on with the FAA and SpaceX. So apparently, the FAA is investigating SpaceX, claiming that the authorization they gave for the SN8 was not actually valid for them to do the SN8 test. Now, the FAA, they're not actually giving a reason as to what codes it broke what spacex didn't follow why they're investigating them they're just saying hey uh you didn't follow our rules and now we're investigating you they're not giving any actual context as to why as if it had to do with the altitude it flew the size of the craft the timing of it etc they're not giving any information and i can understand now the frustration that's coming from spacex so this may have been the reason why the delay and the fact that they could never launch on friday so that may mean that even Monday, we might not see a launch if this investigation goes further. I'm hoping that the delay on Friday was more or less just a lapse in communication. If this investigation does get further, though, we may see a longer delay in terms of Starship progress. I really hope we don't. We all want to see some Starship progress. The fact that we got to see the SN8 do the belly flop, it's such a teaser. We've all been waiting for this SN9. And now Elon Musk brings out the SN10. It's like, what are you doing, man? Just give us something to work with. Do something. But either way, I'm sure SpaceX will handle this properly. In my comments yesterday, a lot of people were really getting into like government administrations and things like that. Look, it may be true. It may not be true. I'm not a political channel. I'm not really on either sides of the spectrum when it comes to that stuff. I don't think that there's a government entity trying to block SpaceX from, you know, pursuing these endeavors. I don't think there's any tinfoil hat necessary uh, you know believe what you want to believe i don't care this isn't the area for that type of stuff though. that's all i'm saying now, that's all i really have in terms of the sn9 and sn10 i just wanted to give you guys a brief update regarding that a lot of people are really excited about seeing both of them out at once so i want to tell you guys about it myself and let you know that hey the faa and spacex are not getting along right now there's some investigations going on so be on the lookout for that so if that's all you want to know be sure to click the like button on your way out of the channel and subscribe if you want more content like this. But if you want to know about what's going on with other SpaceX related news that's not getting canceled, let's get into that. So coming up this Monday, SpaceX is launching more of their Starlinks into orbit from the Kennedy Space Station out in Florida. They're going to be launching 60 of them into orbit. Now, unlike last week's 
trip that they did. Last week's was more or less of a rideshare program, so there are multiple companies on that Falcon 9. On this Falcon, there's only going to be the Starlinks, and like I said, 60 of them. They were supposed to launch this weekend. They're actually supposed to launch today, technically. They had to postpone it for different reasons, weather mostly, but Monday is now the net time for that launch. So if you're in the area or if you want to tune in online, they're probably going to be live streaming this. They love live streaming it. We're probably going to see another Falcon booster do a landing, most likely on the drone out in the ocean. There's about a 40% chance of cancellations, however, 60% chance that it will go. Unlike the Starship, these are a lot less successful, or I should say, these are a lot less prone to problems when it comes to weather only because with the starship the reason they had to cancel it for weather reasons if that's even the reason or if it had to do with the faa that's a whole nother story but when it comes to weather as i stated in previous episodes when it comes to the weather the reason with the starships that they can't launch is because they can't have high winds being the reason that they can't successfully land it they need to know that there is ways to successfully land this thing and that it's not a software problem or anything with the hardware and if the wind for example, is what below this thing, and it's not the reason that the Starship can land, that doesn't help SpaceX in their ways to find more ways to correct the programs, to correct the systems in place. With this, the weather's not as a big of a problem. They know how to launch and land the Falcon 9. I think the only problem when it comes to weather would just be if it's too windy, landing the booster is going to be a problem. That's all I have for you guys on this episode. If you want more of this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm on the road to 1,000, so I know a lot of you guys who watch this content aren't subscribed. Be sure to do me a favor. Click the subscribe. It won't even ruin, it won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. It'll make your day. It'll make my day. It'll make my day. If you like this content, be sure to click the like button as well. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I love talking with you guys, answering questions, and kind of just figuring things out along with you guys. Like I said, I'm not an expert in this area. I... I don't even live in that area. I base my knowledge off of what I can get from different news sources, from Twitter, from locals to the area. So this is more or less a community for us all to learn and just be excited about space and other technology. So with that being said, make sure to have a good one and have a good weekend. I will not be tuning in tomorrow, but Monday, be sure, be ready for a Starship launch.